As Kansas City firefighters are mourning the deaths of two of their own. Both firefighters died in a massive fire near Independence and Prospect. Now the flames and smoke also destroyed apartments and businesses and caused the building to collapse. Now before the deaths, the firefighters did rescue two people. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez is live this morning with what we know so far. Andres. Yeah, in just a few hours, Lindsay, the department will be releasing the names of those two fallen firefighters. Let me go ahead and get out of the way and show you what the scene looks like at this point. It is simply debris and rubble that's left from that building that those two firefighters and other fire crews fought to save. You can see that these ladder trucks are still pouring water on hot spots as they continue to go ahead and try and get this fire, which is under control at this point. Crews were called to the scene here just after 7.30 Monday night. Fire officials say that four firefighters were injured when they were hit by debris. It happened as they were clearing an area of the burning building that was expected to collapse. All firefighters were transported to an area hospital. Two of them unfortunately died from their injuries. Chief Paul Barati told us that both firefighters had just pulled two residents from the building before the wall collapsed. It's a tragedy. It's a tragic uh, situation here and I know that I know Kansas City and I know Kansas Cityans um, their Kansas Cityans' hearts go out to the fire department at this time, and I know people will be offering help. There, uh, there'll be a time for that later. Now, as for the two other injured firefighters, one was released last night, and the other one has stayed at the hospital overnight for observations. Again, we are expected to learn the names of those two fallen firefighters at 7 o'clock this morning. We'll, of course, be carrying it live right here on Channel 41 and over on 38 The Spot. And if you're not near a television set, you could go ahead and watch it on your phone, on the computer, on KSHB.com. We'll be live streaming that news conference. Reporting live this morning in Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. And Andres, Kansas City Mayor Sly James responded with this statement after the fire. He said, our condolences go out to the loved ones of those who made the ultimate sacrifice today, and we pray for recovery of the injured.